In an escalating crackdown on dissent, Russian authorities have sentenced Oleg Orlov, a 70-year-old Nobel Peace Prize co-laureate, to a two-and-a-half-year prison term. The sentence was handed down on charges of repeatedly criticizing the Russian armed forces, as Russia continues to exert tight control over all forms of political expression, particularly relating to the conflict in Ukraine. Orlov is known for his steadfast commitment to documenting and opposing repression in Russia. As the co-chair of Memorial, Russia's most established human rights organization, Orlov was recognized internationally with the 2022 Nobel Peace Prize, shortly before Memorial was forcibly disbanded by the Russian government in the buildup to the Ukraine conflict. Despite the pressure, Orlov remained resolute in his mission, participating in single-person pickets and persistently denouncing the actions of the Russian state, which he compared to historical authoritarian regimes. During his trial in Moscow, Orlov remained unapologetic, characterizing the legal proceedings against him as a farce of justice, a mix of absurdity and tyranny, masquerading as pseudo-legal formalities. Supporters of Orlov gathered in solidarity as he faced his sentence, their applause serving as a stark contrast to the silence of those who follow the government line without question. Orlov spoke to the long-term moral consequences for those complicit in the state's actions, forecasting a future where their descendants would bear the shame of their ancestors' involvements. The timing of his sentencing is notably poignant, coinciding with the ninth anniversary of the murder of Boris Nemtsov, a vocal Russian opposition figure gunned down near the Kremlin in 2015. Remembering Nemtsov, mourners are met with a stark reminder of the perils faced by critics of the government. Meanwhile, those commemorating pro-government Wagner fighters enjoy the uninterrupted ability to honor their heroes, underscoring the deeply divided narratives within Russian society. As Russia continues to assert its military might in Ukraine and at home through repressive statutes, the jailing of a Nobel laureate like Orlov draws international concern and highlights the shrinking space for civil liberties in the country. What remains clear is the enduring legacy of Orlov and fellow dissidents who, despite the risks, advocate for a Russia where freedom of speech and thought are not only tolerated, but respected.